Ward Beecher Hall has been a part of Youngstown State since 1958. It houses biology, chemistry, physics, and the astronomy department's planetarium. But despite a fire today, classes in Ward Beecher will be held tomorrow. But the planetarium, which took the brunt of the fire, will be closed at least through May. The fire at YSU is our top story tonight at 10. Smoke could be seen pouring from the roof of the Ward Beecher Planetarium late this afternoon. That's where construction crews have been working to update the building. The torch and stuff had got down into the lower flat roof and behind the standing seam metal roof and uh, then it ran up vertical through the chase and got up above the planetarium. Today was the first day of spring semester at YSU. 90 students were in the classroom inside Ward Beecher Hall at the time of the fire, but luckily no one was hurt. Much of the roof over the planetarium had to be removed. They're going to have to replace the entire roof. We've got water damage and smoke damage, we know, but we don't know how it affected the star ball or the video system or the sound system in the room yet. I won't know that until I can get in there. The techs and stuff are obviously worried about their I mean, it's probably millions of dollars worth of electronics and stuff inside there. Youngstown Fire Battalion Chief Jimmy Drummond says it was hard to get to the fire, but they were able to contain it to one side of the planetarium. The university has already said classes will resume tomorrow at 8 a.m. This is one of the busiest rooms on campus. We have uh, five classes that go on in the room. They're not going to get the same experience because we can't do the hands-on that we did with the planetarium. For now, the planetarium is closed until the extent of the damage can be assessed. Pretty much our public schedule is a wash now for a while, and we were just getting back. We lost a lot of our schedule last January due to Omicron. This year we have a fire. Professors say any updates on the restoration of the planetarium will be shared on their Facebook page. On the campus of YSU, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.